What's up guys, it is your OG boy here back with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to use the SIM dashboard app. Of course it is made by Strider according to that top there. So I'm going to show you how to move the widgets uh, for your simulator games like Project Cars, F1, uh, even uh, MotoGP is there actually so that's very very surprising. I didn't expect MotoGP to be on the list of games. So yeah, Sim Dashboard is a really handful app. According, just on my opinion, it is very amazing. So there's a set of course of Project Cars, F1 and MotoGP like I just said. So yeah, we're just gonna be using this for Project Cars 2. I could use this in future, but I'll see anyway. So first up what we're gonna have to do is choose the one that we want. We're going to Project Cars 2 and then yeah this is the one that I created for Project Cars 2. Yeah. So I've got one here, I've got one here that's for GT Racing and then I've got this random one that's for Formula Racing and then I've got this one that's just random. So what we're gonna have to do is touch the pencil icon there, go to the add an empty page and then add widget our design you can go on the community community is really helpful uh, i try i recommend you guys try it out like this guy christian binder made the f1 2020 info board that was really helpful it looked really helpful you can start with templates or go to new design but i'm just gonna go to new design for the sake of this video so first we're gonna have to go to gearbox and then go down, scroll down to gear. Yes, that's what we want to add because every car has a gear. Yeah, so we're gonna make it so big actually. <laughs> yeah, let's just move it a little bit. Just move it there. Yes, like that. And then, yes, let's add another widget. Now let's go down to wheels. I mean, sorry. LED bar, I was focusing on wheels there. So I'm gonna put it on round. It said ultra bright, but that's too bright. Let's reduce the size of the gear. And then, yeah, we've made the rev lights, the rev counter or rev lights, whatever they're called. Go down to wheels, there's even tire temperature. That's really amazing. Uh, we're gonna go down physics and then speed. Every car has a certain speed and the speedometer. So yeah, we're just gonna put it like that. I'm just gonna put it on small. And yeah, that's how we want it to be. So that it does not fill up the, the whole screen or just half of it. Let's go to add widget again. Uh, we're gonna go down to, um, I don't know here. Yeah. Time, yes, let's go with current lap time. And then we're gonna add, what's this? Show completed lap time. Yes, we want that. I'm just gonna move it up to five, the timeout, put it down under the speedometer. Yeah, that's that's what we wanna do. And then add widget again. Let's go up and go into wheels and tire temperature. There we go. That this is I mean this this is perfect. This is really really perfect. And you can see I've double tapped the screen so you have a full screen and now we can click the check icon in the top uh, I'm moving the rev counter a bit bigger before we get any further now yes here you can rate it I'm not rating it but I'll rate it later so guys that's the end of this video I hope this tutorial did help you out if it did help you out then like the video if you had any problems with this tell me in the comments if you want to see more sim dashboard videos subscribe to octave gamer turn on notifications and i'll see you guys next time goodbye